Good afternoon. We are here from Nielsen. I am Annie, here with Larissa, Georgia, and this is Xavier. We're going to talk about Comet's new frozen food product launch that they're going to partner with Half Foods and launch in the United States. We're going to look at some of the marketing research we conducted, some insights and recommendations that we would like to make. So, first of all, let's have a general look at the market in America. Well, the market as a whole is growing by 1.6, well, it grew by 1.6 the last year. But it's important to bear in mind that the frozen food, they only just grew by 0.1%. This shows that this particular market is very mature at this stage. Therefore, it's important to have the right uh, strategy to enter the market successfully. And also, we need to consider when are we going to enter the market. Well, the best-selling months for frozen food in America are between November and March. The worst-selling months are between June and August. We think that the best-selling months are probably caused by post- and pre-Christmas sales, and the worst-selling months are probably caused because of a decline in the advertising spend. Moving on, this chart shows the annual dollar and unit volume trend of total prepared frozen foods from 2012 to 2014. Over this three year period, we can see that both these factors have decreased quite considerably. This demonstrates that the US frozen food market is struggling. The reason for this is because consumers have negative perceptions about the quality and nutritional value of frozen food products. However, despite the fact that the US frozen food market is struggling, producers and retailers are trying to do things to progress. The first thing they are doing is by offering new product introductions that match consumer trends. This is something we feel Comet is doing because it is offering the first ever line of 100% sustainable foods, something we feel consumers will really like. The second thing producers are doing are stressing the convenience and nutrition of their products. Again, this is something we think Comet is doing as they are promoting their pan product as wholesome and nutritious. Also, marketers are providing customers with more variety of products at lower prices. Again, these are two factors that we think are really important and that Comet could, con could consider. Therefore, we will be coming back to these later on. The main um, question posed throughout our research is, should Comet launch the panned range? And we think yes. This is because through our research we have found that we think that the planned range has a real unique selling point. This is because Comet is a real top chain of UK London restaurants. Therefore, this is something that we think America consumers will really like. And so is the fact that the line is the first ever product of 100% sustainable frozen foods. Therefore, these two factors, we feel, make the new planned range really distinctive and appealing. This is backed up by positive customer feedback as post-test product results conducted by Nielsen show that consumers really liked the taste and ease and convenience of the product. Also, there is a gap in the market which Comet could exploit. This is because in the past year, 52% of consumers reduced the amount of uh, money they spend on takeout food. Therefore, this is a big opportunity for Comet as they could promote their new frozen foods as a substitute for takeout foods, especially when consumers are eating at home. Another big question we came across is, is Half Foods the correct retailer for Comet to partner with? We think yes, Half Foods is a very successful organisation in the United States. They have stores across the United States, over 1,553 to be exact. They uh, heavily, have a heavy presence across the East Coast with um, some stores in California and small pockets of stores across the mainland USA. Half Foods is doing well in the market. Since 2009, they've had a 7.3 same store average sales increase. This is what we imagine that the Half Foods typical customer would look like. They are educated, single working individuals who have a high disposable income so they can afford to try a new product. We have found a close positive correlation between the level of education, the higher the level of education, the more likely they are to shop at Half Foods. So, the main issue we have found for our research is the poor sales forecast. This is because Nielsen only predicts that Comet will reach $2 million in sales in its first year of trading. However, um, this is significantly below the $2.7 million in sales which Halfroos requires Comet to reach in order for it to partner with the brand. Therefore, this is a big problem for Comet and something they really need to consider. We also feel that the poor sales forecast could be attributed to lack of value, as in pre- and post-use product tests conducted by Nielsen, consumers' perception of value is below average on both occasions. 
However, we feel this main issue of poor sales is caused by other factors. The first factor we think is that the price of the product is too high. This is because the average price of a frozen packet of food in the US is $3.33. This is significantly below the $6.49 which Comet has costed its product at. Also, 48% of consumers in the US say that, that despite the fact they really value sustainable products, they would actually only ever buy what is cheapest. Also, post-use post product tests conducted by Nielsen shows that 30% of respondents disliked the price of the product even after they tasted it, showing, showing that this is a big problem. Therefore, our first recommendation to Comet is to lower the price of the product, as we feel this will have a real impact on sales. However, the specific price of the product we feel could only be determined through further market research. Another issue we came across was the packaging, as you can see here. So when we looked at the consumer's results, at the pre-use stage, consumers saw the description of the product and also the packaging. Here, 25% of people said that uh, they would definitely or probably would buy this product. Then, in the post-use stage, they actually tried the product and 56% of consumers definitely or probably would buy this. There's a massive shift of, uh, and it's increased by 31%. So what should we take from this? 70% of the consumers like the taste of the product. So the issue must be lying in the pre-use stage with the description of the product or the packaging. We also looked at uh, consumers' opinion on the environment and sustainable sustainability of the product. 46% of buyers would buy eco-friendly products compared to non-eco-friendly products, even if it's more expensive. Also, 77% of consumers valued recycled packaging. Comic does have recycled packaging. This needs to be reinforced so that it can appeal to the consumer. So, our recommendation is to improve the packaging. When buyers go into the store, if they know that it's recyclable and they know Comet's values, then they're more likely to buy the product, therefore increasing the sales. Another issue we came across was the lack of variety Comet is offering. At the moment, they only offer chicken with soba noodles. We found that the highest percentage with the four best varieties would reach 88% of triers. This would include two different vegetarian options, a fish and a meat. So our recommendation is to have more variety of meals. This is so that it uh, can reach a wider variety of audiences and in turn increase sales. Another recommendation that we believe Comet should strongly consider is partnering with another retailer. Why should they partner with another retailer? Well, our research showed that 41% of shoppers buy their frozen prepared meals from two retail channels as opposed to the 40% that buy from an exclusive retail channel. We think that the, the appropriate partner for Comet would be Trader Joe's as they have a simi they, similar offer of products in their stores as a Half Foods. They offer great food at great prices and give value to their customers. Trader Joe's have over 411 stores across the 38 states and they are quite spread out across the country as opposed to half foods who heavily penetrate the east coast. They are constantly expanding and growing as a business so we think that this is something that Comic could consider when looking at the potential retail partner. So now we have a better idea about the market, the product and our potential customer. So the question is how are we going to get this product into the hands of our customer? First of all, we need to start with an advertising campaign. The first medium we should focus on is TV advertising. Aims for advertising on TV would be to improve product and brand awareness, improve brand equity and educate our customers on sustainable factors of the product because this is something that our customers value, therefore we should reinforce the message. And our customers also indicated that the perceived brand equity at this stage is very low. Therefore, we believe that using 30 second advertising spots would give us a little bit more time to communicate with our customer. And when are we going to advertise? Well, if we think about our customer, if they are working individuals, they would probably be home by about 6 pm. Therefore, we think that our advertising campaign should start from 6 pm and should run up until 10 30 pm during weekdays. Therefore, we can reach customers when they are probably home and they just switch on TV to relax a little bit. And therefore, the programs they are likely to watch are news, uh, news programs, sporting programs, and probably a little bit of entertainment as well. And to 
make sure that we're going to reach the right amount of audience but we will not saturate our target audience with our marketing messages we recommend to use pulsating style of TV advertising and it's important to remember that pulsating TV advertising provides us with a little bit better return on investment. The second advertising medium we should focus on is digital. The research shows that newspaper advertising declined by 10% therefore it's important to be ahead of the game and really focus on digital advertising and realize its importance. So, aims for TV advertising would be, sorry, digital, would be to encourage trails, encourage repeat purchases and drive promotions. It's important to notice that return on investment for digital advertising is, is a lot higher actually compared to TV advertising. Therefore, we believe this is the best medium to drive sales. And how we would do it, we would just place our banners and advertising messages on various websites such as webmail websites, social media websites and news websites. Again, those are the websites that our customers are likely to browse after they get home uh, when they get back from work. And uh, in terms of the marketing budget, we believe that the best thing to do is split it evenly, I mean 50-50% between each of those two mediums. Also, the other issue that we found is that the trial rate for this product is very low. We believe this could be caused by the fact that Comet wanted to start sales promotion from month number four. Let's just take a step back and look again at our customers. Our customers are really, really likely to buy the product when it's in promotion, and once they try the product, they are likely to purchase it again. Therefore, we believe it's really, really important to start a successful sales promotion campaign from month number one. So, those are our recommendations. We believe that successfully implementing our recommendations will not only generate the recommended $2.7 million sales, but also exceed this number by a significant amount. So just to look at the breakdown of our recommendations, we would like to recommend to lower the price, improve the packaging, add more varieties of the meals, consider partnering with another retailer, go into TV and digital advertising and sales promotion from month number one. We think that these recommendations are very important to Comet and are key arguments to take to Half Foods in order to persuade them to sign the deal. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, let us know.